Welcome back to uh, the Pilot's Grind. Grab yourself a cup of coffee and let's talk uh, vertical flight for just a minute and helicopters. Now this is in our series of innovation and, and I don't know if this really fits perfectly in the innovation piece of the puzzle, but I will tell you uh, this is a pretty uh, impressive home-built helicopter. As a, as a long-time helicopter pilot myself, um, I'm pretty skeptical of home-built helicopters. There's just a lot of moving parts, a lot of things going on. But um, the Hummingbird is fascinating because it started its life as a, as a cert certificated uh, helicopter, production helicopter put out by Sikorsky. And then uh, this particular design, Sikorsky dropped, and uh, the folks over at Vertical picked it up and is now a home built. Um, and it, they've made some really interesting changes to it. Uh, which you'll see and, and hear, and, and I encourage you to, to look at it. You know, it's uh, it's pretty interesting what they've done. So they've done some innovative things with some very traditional design techniques, and this is out and flying and uh, available for purchase. So I uh, hope you like the channel. Hit the like button if you would. Subscribe. Uh, again, we're a new uh, channel. We're looking for, obviously, subscribers like everybody else, um, and it really helps us out. And we're trying to go a little bit different direction from other some from some from some of the other really fantastic uh, channels that are out there. So um, uh, glad you're here. Again, subscribe and hit like, and we hope you enjoy our um, interview about the Hummingbird home-built helicopter. Welcome, coffee drinking pilots. I am Ned Parks. After 45 years of military flying, running FBOs, flight schools, and flight instructing, I have learned about general aviation from multiple angles and have drank gallons of coffee in the process. So grind a bean, pour a cup, and learn something new about aviation. Contact Cleveland Center 134.9er. So we're visiting with Brad, who owns a company that uh, sells these, these kits uh, for this helicopter, but it, its history is of, of all uh, owner build or home build is interesting. Brad, give us a quick rundown on the history of this airframe. Uh, the, the Hummingbird 300L is based on a Sikorsky design that was the S52 and it was FAA certified and I bought all the engineering data drawings type certificate from Sikorsky and I uh, turned it into a home built kit. And, How uh, many of them uh, <laughs> do you have out there? About 360 of them now. About 300, yeah. and, and, but uh, I've been doing it for 33 years. Yeah, and and, and um, are, are they all domestic, or do you have them all over no, the world? they're all over the world. All yeah. over the world, that's fantastic. But most of them are international. Okay. Other than, other than you know, here. In yeah, US. sure, sure. Industry. Well, take us over and just point out a couple of interesting things about the aircraft, if you would. Improvements that I made from the original design is the wind chill. It's a Bell 206 Jet Ranger wind chill, a composite nose. The doors are composite. <laughs> the instrument panel was redesigned. The cyclic sticks are redesigned with electric trim. Uh, there's some flight control changes underneath the floor that you can't see. Uh, it's got four doors now. Originally it had two. The fuel system is a 57 gallon bladder uh, under the seat so fuel burn does not change the center of gravity. Two, okay. pe two people in the back doesn't change center of gravity. Okay. And the fuel system meets crash worthiness. F newest FAA standards for crash worthiness. Fantastic. And then, uh, then the Lycoming IO 540 fuel injected engine, that was a modification that we did as well. And then the rotor blades have been uh, improved, the pocket design has been changed. And then on the tail, the original stabilizers were back here. That was uh, anhedral, and we went to horizontal uh, or, uh, stabilizer. Earlier design for the Hummingbird, the ho horizontal stopped here and had end plates. Well, I extended the stabilizer further out to clear the fuselage, and I moved the vertical stabilizer back here. This is a uh, improved tail rotor blade design. Uh, this I is see not, you have the cut back on the tip. Yeah, yeah, that's for noise reduction. Sure, absolutely. And the blade has eight degrees of twist, and it's an asymmetrical airfoil. Okay. And it has a 4,000 hour life. 
4,000 hours. That's fantastic. And uh, what's the uh, what's the, some of the time limits on the gearboxes, the transmission? There, and the there's, no, there's no time. Well, there's overhaul all periods of 1,200 hours on the rotor head, the main gearbox, and the tail gearboxes. Okay. The retirement time on the tail blades is 4,000 hours. On the main rotor blades, it's 1,200 hours. Okay. All right. And I know that with home builds, there's kind of a huge range of costs and with options and everything, but, but uh, give us a ballpark of where this, this kit is. The, the basic standard kit with the engine is about 227000 Okay. with the engine. Got it. And then we have a quick build option where we put together the airframe. Okay. And that's an additional 66000 Okay. So right around... For three hundred thousand. Yeah, the, the, with the quick build. With the quick build yeah. and some avionics, and, yeah. and you have your own yeah. paint and upholstery. The paint, yeah. yeah, that's just. And we off, we offer that as options, the interior. Okay. All right. Yep. Well, yep. Brad, I can't thank you enough. Okay. I hope that uh, you sell a bunch more at the show. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thanks, All right. man. Thanks, man.